So this is the Norn Trail, cutting across the halfway up Mount Dag stage. Not quite halfway up, it's more like a quarter of the way up the slope. This uh, trail goes across the hill, not up the hill. But as you can see, it's incredibly peaceful and scenic here. It's about 8.30 in the morning. I have seen one man with a dog and two women on their daily hike. But how could you not go for a daily hike with stuff like this around you to enjoy? I'm going to make up a video. Uh, I know I'm going to post the relive video, but that one really doesn't do justice to the glory of the forest of fun. Every day there's something different. This tree came down so recently that nothing has wilted yet. Probably a couple of days it got blown down. And there it lies until somebody complains. If it's blocking a path, they'll cut it, but they won't remove it, they just leave it. Like all these other trees, they just cut them and leave them where they are and let nature do the rest. Pretty soon this trail cuts across a trail called uh, Merry Man. Merry Man goes, does go up to the summit, but tomorrow I'm running with Derek, I hope, which means that I'm going to have a three-hour day tomorrow. I need to uh, bear that in mind, otherwise I will probably be prevented from doing my daily outing because I will be very close to my total number of minutes for the week. I walk, run, ride, hike, whatever I do, for exactly 600 minutes a week, which is 10 hours of uh, strenuous activity a week. That's a good number for me. All right, so I'm coming up to somebody else here. Somebody with a little dog. Hi there. Hi, little dog. And these weird stepping logs. Somebody had enough time on their work shift to do this. I'm not sure whether that is approved labor, but I'm sure he was paid by my taxes. Anyway, they do a very good job of maintaining the park in as much of a natural state as possible. In a way, that little bit of extra carving they did there has added very little value to the natural beauty of the trail and it has pushed pretty much useless when it is wet there because all those pieces aren't embedded, they're floating basically on the mud so it's not very safe to step on them. You might not get your shoes right but you might end up slipping off. Anyway, so this is an extended video clip which will be uh, the meat and potatoes of my Tuesday submission to your five minutes. Bye bye.